time. Yeah. Like, we on time. TP time? No, we on good time. Good time. <laughs> good time. Good time. Good time. Welcome back, y'all. We are back. Thank you for tuning in. We are excited for today's episode. If you haven't seen already over the post that we've done the last couple of days, today's episode is Intimate Massage. Um, right Very here, nice. I know you can't see this, but right here, this is the Harlem Skywalker Guide to Tantric Sex and Massages. Please check it out, you know what I'm saying? You can go to the skywalkertouch.com at gmail, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you can pick up his book. Sorry, guys. Right. You got Teddy Riley back in. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. It's Teddy. Ready with the one, two, check. Alright, alright. So, as always, you know, we got to introduce ourselves. I am Luke, the Harlem Scar Walker in the building. Happy to meet your acquaintance. Who's next? Oh, Ratchet Bobby in the building. We have First Lady Ramona. Happy Friday. Hollywood Dre, the Brooklyn Knight. We out here. Let's go. Reality. And of course, because we are doing intimate massages, we have to start. No, no, no. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> go I know this is season two. Come on, bro. Let's I, go. I, 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 the, um, the thoughts and opinions. You know about uh, the thoughts and opinions of Uptown Brown, Ratchet Bobby, Mr. Receives, El Capitan, whatever y'all want to call me. Um, are solely the thoughts and opinions of me and do not reflect upon the ratchet, oh, excuse me, the ratchet <laughs> thoughts and isms cast or Mel in the executioner because they in the building. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you very much. Y'all happy? Yes. Right. Absolutely. Right. Um, so we want to start this episode. We've already put a couple of uh, uh, surveys out uh, to see what you guys would think about uh, our topic of intimate massages. And a couple of questions we got, so we put them out there. One of the questions was, would you ever get an intimate massage? And 75% of you said, yeah. And 25% uh, of you said, nah. Um, how do you guys feel about this? That sounds like this panel. I have to believe the men represent the 75% and she probably represents the 25%. <laughs> I feel like this is this is, oh, am I wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to speak for you. First lady. Too late. I'm going to speak for you first lady. Go ahead. Too late. Go ahead. So how do you feel then? I feel it's, it's subjective because I feel that if you are in a relationship and you're getting one of these intimate massages, it's very inappropriate for you to do that because I feel like once you cross that line where you get intimate massages, there are masseuse who give you sex after. There, there is an option. You, they give it to you or you pay for it? I mean, either way, it's done. No, it's not either way, because what if you know it's not in okay, your budget? Okay, well, it's, it's put on the table. <laughs> it's put on the table as, when you get into the massages, there are some masseuses who put it on the table like, okay, what do you want today? This is what I offer you. And in the offer, it can be sex. It can be sex. But so actually, like, that's an upcharge. So regardless of how much you have to pay for it, it's an option. And I feel like once you have a relationship and you okay that, then you might as well just have an open relationship. But, 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 you must just have an open right, relationship because so, you're having sex with random people. So here's my question: then. What, what do you feel about a regular massage with happy ending? It's the same thing. It's but the same you, thing. But you, but you okay the regular massage? Regular massage. First of all, the masseuse is fully dressed. Okay. I'm the only one who has my clothes off. Yeah, but with the happy and ending, the, the there's no option to buy. The, with the happy <laughs> ending, the masseuse is still fully dressed. I don't know about that. Are you sure about that? I mean, I need I a receipt on that so. one. Listen, I, I need a receipt. In a regular massage, in a regular massage, they're fully dressed. Never heard. In a regular massage, they're fully dressed. Yeah. The happy endings. He's saying that they're they're fully dressed. So you? Yeah. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. So the other the other part of me would say, if you have a relationship, I feel it's inappropriate. However, if you are single and you know you DD, dick deficient, and you <laughs> and you feel like this is a way of you getting yourself together, a little self care. Then I say, go ahead, do it. But I feel like once you're in a relationship, that's very inappropriate. You might as well just have an open relationship. That's, that's a no for me. So so just to clarify, mm -hmm. you're saying that they can have an intimate massage as long as there's no happy ending at the end of it, correct? Yes, however, there's a limit to how many times you're going to get this massage in your lifetime while you're with me. There's a limit to that. Like You're going to have it maybe once, maybe twice the most, but that's about it. It's not going to be a regular routine. 
Okay. You can do but, this but you are okay with it. You would allow your man one time. to get an intimate massage. One time. One time. Mm -hmm. With the happy ending. No. Not with the happy ending. Just a regular massage. I mean, if he's going to do it only once, he might as well go all out. No. 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 You're happy. That's inappropriate. No. You, you, you in a relationship. That'll make it okay because I'm going to someone who's licensed. It's still having sex. It's still prostitution. It's still inappropriate for relationships. It's still cheating. No. Absolutely not. No. So what about you? I'm definitely for intimate massages. No, your female friend, your lady friend, your wife, your yes, girlfriend. I would, I would totally be like, yes, babe, you can go and get an intimate massage. Including the sex part? If she wanted to have the sex part, yes, I would be like, okay. Why? Why would you Why? <laughs> You're in the wrong business. You need to work for progressive. Yeah, why would you? Why would you be okay with that? <laughs> this, this, this guy right here. <laughs> Woo <-hoo -hoo. laughs> you need to be right next to Flo. You progressive as a motherfucker. Oh, like shit. Listen, if this is something that my lady wants, right? I'm gonna be okay with it. I'm not against her enjoying some of the finer things. In, not, let me not say finer things in life. If there's a part of her self-care routine in that massage, particularly she's like, mm, he was bad, da da da, it was good. I'm going to take it to the next level. I'm like, okay, like I wouldn't be mad afterwards. That's what you call self-care. This is something she wanted to do. I would not be upset. With you didn't answer the question, sir. That what you call <laughs> self-care. <laughs> if that was a part of her self-care routine, I'll do it. Was so. meaning that she did it prior. So if she was trying to implement this into her sex care routine because she did, it was not there prior would you be okay with that if she wants to implement something that was not there before yes, yes. yeah mm -hmm. damn flow progressive <laughs> that, that's more than that she allowed that okay. she has that sure. same energy when it's your turn listen if she can get something why can't i as well oh well, right. so if she cheats on you with another man would you be mad at that no, I wouldn't consider a cheating. No, not the masseuse, just a random dude. Because basically that's what he is, is a random dude. Would you be a... If we were in an he exclusive was a, relationship, mm -hmm. and she went and cheated. No, she had sex with a random dude. Did she have sex with a random that's dude? That's cheating. That's no. cheating. So what's that intimate massage that she having sex at the end is? That's cheating too. That's... I don't... <laughs> it's not cheating if you pay for it. <laughs> Alright, so she blessed me over with a couple stacks after I'm done. Like, here you go. That's okay, right? Because I'm bringing it home to you. We're going on a trip. I'm buying you a nice little something, something. I would not be against it. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Is it that this played for Fuji? This played for a trip to Fuji? Okay. Wow. Wow. Is it wow. Not, so it's not cheating if you pay for it? So you're not pimping your girlfriend? I'm not pimping my girlfriend. You guys are making a scenario. <laughs> Don't say I, never, I, I, just, I, 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 never, I never, I never went with these scenarios. The question was that you asked me originally, and then it started to go for more questions and more questions. Like, so you're trying to get me somehow to say no? I, I, I'm okay. I'm not trying to get you to say no. I'm just trying to see where your mind is at. You're going to each extreme. So I have a question for you. Oh, we got some people that are. That are we got, we got some people in the comments. We got, we got some uh, comments here. So Let's the advancement of technology has made it easier for people to cheat. But social media? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, um, I'm assuming. The investment, that's part of the advancement of the technology. Uh, someone said, in a happy ending, the masseuse may be fully dressed, but there is an exchange of fluids. Mm. Okay. Good. I don't know if there's an exchange. I know one is. Like, right. well, what, what if the person has on their proper PPE? Goodness gracious. <laughs> You have to take this into consideration. <laughs> exactly. You have to wear your proper PPE, latex gloves, face shield. You can definitely face yeah. shield because if giving me a massage, you might need the face shield. Um, yeah. right. A gown. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was one survey. So, so we get what each other uh, thinks about uh, what is it? Um, everybody, everybody the answer. No damn. Hell no, nah, she's not getting no damn happy ending, okay? Exactly, That's people. What, what about a melancholy ending? Like, he get a pretty close, but <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That counts, that's okay, you get to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, nah. mm. You don't quite finish? Yeah. Uh, that's, be okay. that's my that, that be right? What guy does that? Please tell me, because I don't know. One guy that gets there, but you know what? I'm going to change my mind right now. No, a nigga that's trying to mind fuck a chick. <laughs> Nah, I guess I ain't never got my Dr. Dre, I've been there, done that. <laughs> Alright, so really? let's, 
the next question we kind of already went to, which was, would you let your significant other get an intimate massage? So I answered already. What did you guys think? Um, I, I would if I could get if the, the consent is also with the condition that I can get one as well. Then sure. Hmm. It's gonna be consent with the condition. I'm perplexed. <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead, guys. No, maybe, maybe, maybe the couple's version. But see, not, that was my point. Remember, we, so I don't think the couple versions work. So, so there's, this, there's this show called uh, "Put a Ring on It," right? Um, they have one own. You know what I'm saying? So the concept of the show is like you're in a relationship and you date other people in front of your mate, right? right? So there was this one episode where the couples were on a date and their mate were on a date and they were all in the same place. These people weren't able to focus on their dates with their significant other in the room. So you think you're supposed to be able to focus on the enjoyment of your massage with your mate right there? It's impossible. Y'all might as well just do it separate or not do it. No. Well, I, what, I, what, I, what I would say is concerning that, um, if they're, if, if if they're helping on it, there's nothing you can do to stop them. There's nothing you can do to stop them. So if you find so, out that your significant other does it without your permission, is it a deal breaker? Without your consent, not permission, because we're adults. You don't need permission. Without your consent, <laughs> well, without, 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 without your knowledge, without us having a conversation about it, we we there, there may be some issues because because that should have been something that we. But why? About. You okay with it? So why should it be an issue? Who said that I was okay? Okay, so what's your stance on it? Again, I, to me, I, I've never been in that situation. No, what's your stance on this? I just if you have a, a lady, what's your stance on that? I don't, I don't I don't know if that's necessarily a, a great thing. Again, I don't know. Mm, 75, 25. Mm. No, no, no. I said, I don't know. I don't know. And again, that's, 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 that's based on the fact that... You Is know, that pedicy? Let him talk. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Dre. Go ahead, 50. <laughs> Go ahead. Listen, you, you just don't know. You don't know what the outcome of it is going to be. Mm -hmm. It could go totally wrong. It could go so sideways. And, and, and it could... It could actually add to your relationship too. So I, I don't know. That's why I say I don't. For either way, I don't know. So, I, so you because I, look, I, I put it to you like I was dating somebody at one point. I sent them for a regular massage. Mm -hmm. They got the massage, and I got a phone call like meet me like immediately mm -hmm. from a regular massage. Okay. So yeah, mm -hmm. so a, an intimate massage may do the same thing, or an intimate massage mm -hmm. may turn things Physical. some right. some you know like a negative thing. So again, I don't know. Okay, so you're fitting two on in the middle somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think if you feel like a massage is gonna all of a sudden turn your woman who you love and trusted into a temporary whore. She might she's not being a whore. Date. Why is she have to be a whore? Hold up. If you're in a monogamous relationship, there's an expectation of loyalty. That expectation of loyalty is not except massage time. But you except about intimate it. massage time. But you talked about it with her. Is it? You agree to this. It's not yeah. So talking. what I'm saying is, if you're going to allow, if you're going to be okay with the intimate massage, mm -hmm. you should trust that your woman, no matter how amazing she feels during this massage, is still going to be able to refrain from getting some penis inside. I get it. I get it. I, get it. I think women are able to do it more than men can, though. So to be honest with you, I think we have more restraint than men do. We can do wow. that without, you know, second-guessing ourselves. But men, you guys are kind of weak when it comes yeah, to the flesh. Yeah, I, don't, I definitely call, believe that. So come to the her, her, her temptations a little bit more okay. than we would. Mm -hmm. Please comment if you feel mm -hmm. Listen, right? Mm -hmm. strong. All they got to do, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. is... All he got to do is have real so because you know how you, when you listen to music low, it puts subliminal messages in your head, and then while he massage her, she just hear in the background, real ass bitch, don't fuck that nigga, and then, 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 and and then, and then, yeah, we definitely gonna share you guys' comments if you have something to say. You wanna definitely hear your thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. uh, say, someone said, couples massages happen all the time. It's possible I would prefer the same room at the same time in terms of that, the couple massage. Absolutely, that was my point earlier. If you're gonna get this intimate massage together, we have to be together doing it. I'm not gonna get mine on Monday and you get yours on Friday because I don't know what you're doing in that room. Uptown's rebuttal is you're not going to pay attention to your own massage if the of your mate is in the room with you. But I feel like I won't listen to what you're doing. But once I hear some, 
You don't even gotta hit. All you gotta do is get your man back. Oh, and then you be like, get the fuck off of me. Time out, pause. Listen, y'all keep Bye. going on, on, the, on, the, on the thesis that the intimate massage is going to turn into sex. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. If we but sometimes you're so relaxed. You, you get so relaxed, you just, you exhale deep. Then you're like, oh. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up. See? That's okay. What, exactly. Good. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, for you, no, even, wait, wait, wait. For you how are you gonna look up? But you got some like like you're literally straddling the dude. Who's straddling the dude? Um, we watched yeah, some of those. Um, yeah, we watched some of those videos. So, those so those here's the question. Let me ask you a question. I don't want you fucking her. You can do that, you does it matter if if your man is getting massaged by one woman or two? Because some of these massages would be two women on one man, and some of these massages would be two matter. men on one woman. So it don't matter. Mm -hmm. I want the one with the two women. Of course, <laughs> but. Borderline this is, I, I mean, listen, if I'm going to pay for it, I got, I got this experience, yeah. Borderline 3 uh, You know what, for me, I would have to first see what the first mm -hmm. one seems like, just one, and then, all right, then let me see what two feels like. Nah, I just want to see what they look like. Mm -hmm. what they look like. All right, all right, hold up, what do we got here? Uh, someone said they agree with Ramona. Uh, what do I need an intimate massage for if I have a man? Your man been going to massage them in school. If there's no trust. Mm -hmm. Mm. I will go to school and learn how to give you a goddamn massage. Who's paying for that? Not you. <laughs> I'm paying for it. To answer your question, young lady, uh, some men don't know how to give these type of professionals. Some men are not making regular massages. Let's be honest. Listen, when men massage, we massage for fucking ten minutes and then we rub on our booty and go straight to try to fuck. Like so. We can't be. Y'all need to get your massage game up, man, because this intimate massage is about to take over. Y'all need to get your massage game up. Just men need to get their game yes, up? Just okay, men. all right. Just men. Cool. Wow. Sure. Believe that if you want to. Just Believe men. that if you want to. Just men. Okay. Because we perfect. Mm. Okay. I'm about to Hold leave. Up. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> trust is a huge factor you know, in these type of <laughs> situations. I would agree. Trust is definitely a huge factor when it comes to couples uh, in terms of allowing your significant other to. Intimate massage, right? intimate massage. Uh, if it doesn't mean that they are having sex, that's what I'm saying. Exactly, intimate massage is the only if they're having sex. It's, it's sex doesn't. simulation. It doesn't, but it's tempting. Why is it it's available? It's sex no, 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 wait, wait. This is the reason why she's saying it's tempting. Again, based on the videos we've seen of, for the um, like the different Instagram pages mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Touched by Mel and the guys. Y'all look great. A lot of them. A lot of them. I'm gonna see y'all when I come to Atlanta. This guy. <laughs> a lot of them are in like some really different positions and you know like you know like for instance like you know we saw like where the dude he got female straddling him while he's rubbing on him mm -hmm. and stuff there's a female who and why he gotta wear sweatshorts see and there's a female who and a white beater who's like almost naked just about and she's like rubbing on dudes a curt a certain way she does dudes and females actually and like she's yeah. like all on them yeah. and like really yeah yeah but it's so you know, I guess it's, if it's a thing where it's like these people are touching you in, in sensual ways, um, there's a possibility that, you know, um, people feel like it can, it can turn into something else. Even on the record. Now, don't get me wrong, like a lot of them say that they don't have sex with their clients. Most of them do. Listen. This is true. Most of them, most of them have that disclaimer out there mm -hmm. that that's the, that's the initial thing. They do not have sex with their clients. You might not believe that. But you as know, a man, I want a nigga to massage my girl like Steve Urkel. As a man, you were, are you able to do that without getting hard? If you was doing this massage to these women, would you do it? Would you be able to do it without getting hard? I'm gonna be harder than Chinese or I'm saying, like, <laughs> would you, would you not, would you be able not to get hard? Like, is it possible for you not to get hard? Like, so I believe these professionals are able to do something to that extent and not. Get that around. This is why he got I his book. Know. You see, this is why. This, Tetris. 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 Yeah, all right. It's the same way. Scott you know, won't get touch. <laughs> At email. Dot com. Email. If you're Gmail. doing Gmail. something enough, you get used to it, right? So you don't necessarily have to get aroused because you're doing something. Think of GYNs, right? Guys, men as the GYNs, they're looking at That's all true. day. They're not in here. You ready to go? That's true. true right? So, so you saying like if she's like sucking someone, I should lose a gag reflex? Are you doing something enough? So, um, <laughs> so I was talking to my coworker yesterday that follows the podcast. Mm -hmm. Hey, dimples. Hey, dimples. So she was telling me that um, she these massage things are a thing. Like you have to sign a contract. 
you have to agree to what you're doing. Like after after massages, we're having sex. She said it's been a thing before this whole phenomenon came out. It's been a thing. And also, she said she watched a podcast called Hard or Soft. Big up to them. And they had someone on there who was talking about how they have these massages where people consent to it. So I did my own research. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hmm, I don't know about that. Let me look it up. So I did my own research, and I didn't find that. But what I did find was <laughs> it's on Pornhub. If you put in intimate massages with sex or sexual intimate massages on Pornhub, it comes up. What did you watch? I didn't watch anything, but I, I was just doing my research and I was like, You did a horrible like, research if you didn't watch. I just want to let you know. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, it's on Pornhub, so it's it's a sexual event. It's nothing it's nothing PG-13 about this about this intimate massage. It's I'm going to go do the further on, research, people. If it's on, oh, if it's on Pornhub, you guys. if it's on Pornhub, and also, and also, also. I found that they do yoni massages. What's a yoni massage? A yoni yoni means what? vagina, and they do vaginal massages. I also I read an article about that because I wasn't aware that this was done. Vaginal massages. And, yes, I wasn't. Professional aware. finger popping. Well, what the article I read didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say that. It just said that <laughs> she stimulated her like libia and her vulva, the areas around her vagina. It didn't say anything about insertion of any anything. But when I expressed it to him. You told me that you have experienced that where someone got an actual like finger insertion. Like, is that is that what you heard? Because I didn't I didn't see that on my research. I so. mean, yeah, you didn't research it. Well, I mean, yeah, it I sounds like professional <laughs> fi- professional finger popping. Um, you know, and I mean that's cool. Um, it's not cool. I think that it sounds like bullshit. I'm gonna keep it a buck, right? Exactly. I think it's called a finesse, right? Like sometimes you gotta understand when people are pulling a finesse on you, right? So. We are of a certain age, right, where when we was younger, right, if you had on, like, a, a, a fake leather jacket, they called it pleather, and you wasn't cool if you had pleather. Right. Now, fake leather is called vegan leather, and everybody oh, wants faux it. Faux leather. It's, or faux leather, and everybody wants mm-hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? That is called the finesse, right? So you can't convince me that just because you put a nice fancy word like yoni it's in front right. of it, that it's nothing more than finger popping. I get that. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, we just need to come up with a, you know, instead of using the word glizzy, we need to, you know what I'm saying, come up with a, a better word to describe men getting it so that so way mad? people will be so okay mad, with it. I'm mad because y'all got better marketing so than we do. Like, I'm mad, I'm mad y'all got better marketing than we do. Are you mad? We're not going to use the word glizzy. I mean, We're going to come up with something. Uh, uh, help me, fellas. Pino, pino, pino massage. Nah, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not it. Erectile. So, so, <laughs> all right, there was a lot of questions <laughs> just got out here. Intimate um, prostate massages. That's whoa, a good one. Whoa, whoa. That's a good one. High no, five. No, no, That's a good no, one. No, 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 no. You know, no, no, no. You know, no it's, it's, oh, it's, no, yeah, that's right. Prostate yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, no. Testicle, testicle. Y'all gotta help me. Testicle, testicle. Intimate testicle. 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 Tubular. Tubular. <laughs> intimate, intimate phallus. Shafting. Intimate oh, shafting. Yeah. Oh, intimate shafting. Oh, I like that. Yeah, intimate shafting. Listen. Ladies, intimate shafting coming soon. So a yoni massage. The Ramona Touch at gmail.com. Intimate shafting. A yoni massage is a mindful vagina <laughs> massage. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm reading this. I'm not even making this stuff up. Go ahead, I hate All right, it is a gentle guided tour of your pleasure giving capital. A tour uh, for the purpose of what? Specific, uh, specifically channeled. Through touch and pleasure. A so, tour. That's like when Yeezy reimposted that pussy. It was a whole tour. But what's the what's the um, benefits of it? So, in some ladies actually go and get this massage because it helps release some of that pain from uh, their period. They have mm-hmm. painful periods and things of that matter. So this helps release some of that stress. Why is her vagina so big that you can take a tour of it? Is, is this a war tour with Muhammad my man? <laughs> the one each and every place. But my thing is, I, you can show me how to do it. I can do it on myself. Uh-huh. I don't need you to put your hands on my vagina. But, but here's, here's the thing, right? You can tour your own vagina? Mm-hmm. There are a lot of women out there that don't actually tour their own vagina. One. Two, the mind is what controls a lot of the things that your body does, right? Yeah, but that's and, I know they're jamming in the back right here. Um, so everything that we're going through right now in the world, COVID, school, kids, just the stress, it's real easy to disconnect 
from your own well-being where those things that you would do are not as pleasurable because you're just not connected in that way. So these type of massages are a way to center yourself back and give back to you. See, see that right. probably right now. Right. You know what else could do that? Uh, Shout out to my girl, Sequoia from, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, Beverly Candy. If y'all want to help toy your own vagina, you know what I'm saying, she can hook y'all with some toys. You know what else let, could let do that? y'all think. What? The glizzy? <laughs> there's, a there's a different type of sensuality that happens when you get this type of massage, when you get this type of massage. It's true. Tell, tell them from the book. I had, I had, tell them, tell them. I experienced, I went to a, um, <laughs> a tantric sex session. Um, what is tantric? What does that mean? So tantric sex is similar to a hit to massage, mm-hmm. but that person might not be, uh, did you release? No, I want to know what tantric means. Go ahead. People so it's, don't know it's, what that it's means. a spiritual connection between two people uh, that allows you to exchange energies in a way that don't necessarily have to be purely physical. Right. right? It's a little. It's more intimate and spiritual in the minds that your mind is connected. But the sensuality that happens through that touch is amplified to another level. Okay. I've done. I've done that before. And you went to a session. It's like when you do it so good, you make her say, "Oh my God, she called for Jesus." It's a spiritual thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I watched this happen, and it was it was beautiful because it, there was there was light touching, but there was hardly anything that was considered what you might have saw a porn hub or some of these intimate massages where the person is like, you know, all of these light touching, movements. no slapping with the glizzy. It's hard to keep a straight face with next to this guy. False. Um, so anyway. So what happened, the young lady had an orgasm with, again, this touch. With, with just Can touch. I ask you what part of the body they were touching? Or they just Everything, they, they didn't even, in his words, finger pop, mm-hmm. professional finger popping, mm-hmm. that didn't even happen. It was just a total, like, it was light touching. It was, it, it, was, it was just, it was surreal. Okay. You know, you really, it was like ludicrous pussy popping. No. So y'all remember that from Energy, energy. <laughs> so, so, alright, let me Y'all remember that from BET Cut? Shout out to BET Cut Y'all remember that back in the day? Before we continue, let's see some of these comments uh, Someone oh, said I um, don't have a hard time editing this There's no editing, this is live oh, um, right. Funny enough, most vids on IG Are, are not Dudes doing these massages is half naked women doing it's massages with half naked women. It's both. I've seen more men I, honestly giving yeah. massages to women it's who are dick yeah. deficient. Uh, oh, we'll get to that. Uh, what else here? Yeah. So get uh, someone said uh, so get a regular massage then. Why you got to get into it just for a new experience? Right. Just to say I did it. <laughs> new experiences are fun. Mm. You don't st- hold up. Everybody wants a new experience. Like when you break up with somebody, you don't say that's it. No more sex. No, you meet somebody and you down to have a what? So, new experience. So what happened at this new experience leads to her breaking up with you because she got with the masseuse, she broke up with you, now she went him and now you crying. It wasn't meant for you, but then, then that relationship wasn't very strong. Yeah, but you put her in the lion's den. Who wait, wait, wait. How did we put her in the lion's den? Because you agreed to her going. No, it's that not like choice that she called as an adult. I'm gonna tell you what the lion's den is. That's <laughs> like if <laughs> Hollywood Dre, Sheesh. Uptown you Brown. Say, you say yeah. Luke the Harlem Skywalker and my man Trouble, we all take a guy's trip to DR. That's the lion's den. You can take a trip to the DR. An intimate massage is not the lion's den. I'm going to tell you that no, right now. You having her break up with you and get with this guy because he's pleasing her that in a way you never could. And he's like, what, what am I doing with my life? Kudos to him, nigga. Like, I can't be mad. Nigga, don't hate the play, hate the game. Like, I ain't. That's it. All right, so what's that? Chinese. Should, should be back. Yeah, right. Chinese people uh, take pride in this. It's not sexual to them, but to black people it is. What's the deal? Did we say Chinese people? <laughs> I mean, it's it's <laughs> people. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm sorry. trying to hold back. No, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Please. Why did you even read that comment, bro? You know what we did was discuss it earlier. Our, our, uh, listen, what now, what is mean, now, what they mean by Chinese people? No, it's, it's wild that they said that because everybody, the pages that I've seen, when we were talking about this um, this topic, the pages that I've seen have been people of color that, mm-hmm. that are the ones that Absolutely. are providing these services. Absolutely. So I'm, I, didn't, I didn't know that there are, you know, people of other races 
that do this outside of people of color. So I didn't know we were in the year nineteen fifty two and you still saying people of color. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> listen, you know, you trying to make sure that it's you know, trying to keep us from getting um canceled. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We okay. can do that. African American we got so many new terms. Yeah, black Co- people colors. Do. African American <laughs> wars. Yeah, we got new terms. He still said people of color. He said it twice. I can't help it. I'm the okay. first on a little rock. I can't help no, it. I'm sorry. Morning, just, this morning, just that. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. You would call it to be Dominicans or anybody who's dark. They, they, they're all black. All right. But yeah, wait, that's for another episode. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so, In the person who was uh, Ramona asked, yes. are you referring to what was your <laughs> Chinese people? Yeah, so if you could clarify, I'm, I'm going to continue to go. I want to know what that means. Why see. Chinese people? What else? The massage is about the fantasy, similar to the strip club. It's dope to have the experience with your significant other. Yeah, but the strip club is not as intimate as the massages because it can be. It can be. You know, because you have a whole thing room, security. No matter what you heard, no matter what you've been told, there's no sex. In the champagne, in the champagne yeah, room. But half these dudes out here can afford the champagne room. So they outside, like okay, everybody else, with the girl on the stage, throwing singles. It's, it's not as intimate as, as intimate massages. It's not. You can't compare it. No sex. You can't sense. compare it. All right. Uh, you saw, you saw um, what's the movie? Player Son? Yeah. Diamond so had a guy um, who came here every week to see him. I'm in love with you, Diamond. Hold up. The last kid doing with the glasses, he was sitting there like this, obsessed with her. Don't make the money, let the money make right, it. Right, but he was obsessed with her. Okay. Uh, someone said, of course, <laughs> Uptown, Lord, shake my head. Yep, definitely. Uptown. Why would you read that comment? I had to. Um, <laughs> someone said, you definitely watch Pornhub, uh, Ramona. As an out, for the record. <laughs> Disclaimer, um, disclaimer. Oh, now, now, disclaimer. I do not watch Pornhub. The only reason I know about Pornhub because I was doing my research and it led me to that. Thank you. Led you to what? It led me to to the realization that Pornhub has intimate massages in their fantasy world. They have it. They have it. Yeah, definitely definitely know what prostate, uh, whatever thing he said before with the prostate word. with the prostate word? Yeah, when well, you was you trying to make up a new uh Yeah, we're trying to new term, term, terminology for the for the for the fellas. For the, for the fellas you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be health benefits to yoni massages. Yes, actually, there is. For both, actually. A happy ending and for you. Health, health, health benefits to yeah. male and female ejaculation. I no. Yes, yes I looked it up there. It's health benefits to male and female ejaculation. So for y'all to claim that y'all yoni massages is there's health benefits, that's true. That is great. There's also benefits to a man. Having a what are we gonna call it now? We gotta rewrite the word. You said shaft something. I don't know. Intimate shafting. Yeah. yeah, but my thing is, you can get that from your girlfriend. You and you can get a, a yoni massage from your, your boyfriend. You cannot. Why can't you? Because you're not a specialist. And you just gonna be nasty. How you know? Because you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at his cup? Like, did I drink something? <laughs> He's like, did I drink something to this? <laughs> Alright, sorry. It's, 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 listen, there's nothing wrong with intimate shafting. That's how it's benefits to intimate shafting. Well, there's no such thing, so. There is. We just created it. Intimate shafting. Okay. So let's, let's get this term. Everybody, I want everybody to hashtag. Intimate shafting. We got to get this term trending. It's for the fellas. You know what I'm saying? We want us to be able to have healthy exchanges because there's health benefits. It's good for your heart. It's good for your prostate. It helps release oxytocin into your brain. There's health benefits from male ejaculation. So is not gonna be okay. Sorry. Yes, nurse Betty. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, right? Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, there's endorphins that are released. When a man ejaculates, that is that is good for his health. It does health benefits to it. It helps with heart disease. It helps prevent heart disease. Oh, you wanna? You making a? I need to make the receipt face. All the Let's blood rushes to your penis when you when you when you're hard. Actually, somebody actually. please Google the benefits all of your, male ejaculation blood, and read them out loud. Mr. Receipts is never wrong. Let's go. Somebody all, look it up. All the blood so, rushes to your penis when you. Somebody look it up, please. So here we go. Um, it releases sexual tension, it reduces stress, helps you sleep better, improves your self-esteem and body image, helps treat sexual problems, 
uh, relieves menstrual cramps and much muscle tension and strengthens muscle tone in your pelvic and that's anal that's for females, right? Areas. That's for females. That's period. Period. No, no. I want you to Google. I want you to look up the benefits of male ejaculation. How did we get here? <laughs> How did we? No, 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 no. Alright, what about singles? So then if, if if we are old, we have a little debate with the significant other. What if you're single? If I'm single, what? Can you have an Yeah, why not? why not? Would you do it? Would I personally do it? Yes. No, I would not because I feel like it's, it's the same thing as having a one night stand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm not going to see you no more. I'm going to have sex with you this one time that you give me a massage. And I'm never going to see you again. Oh, you're not going to call me. You're not going to take me out. You're not going to ask me how my day well, was. Well, if you pay First him, he'll come back. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. First lady. If you pay him, he'll come back. Why do you believe that these massages have to end up in sex? Because that's what it is. That's why it's so popular. They, it's like it's like a it's like a pass for sex. It's like a pass, like a green light. Like, okay. Uh, uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, that's how I feel about it. I really don't believe it. Okay, they asked if they were sex. No. Give me nah, just one. Nah, you're stuck on that. Well, maybe that's yeah, like, like, you're ready to go right now. You're convinced that it's, this, is, this is sexually driven. Mm -hmm, I do. I do. Wow. But like okay. I said, I wouldn't do it because um, I'm not built like that. I wouldn't want to just be like, no, listen, sir. <laughs> Hi, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing after this, sir? <laughs> I'm... I'm Man, that's too intimate. That's too personal. Like me personally, I don't like men touching me if you're not somebody I'm dealing with. Like if, I don't like that to, to be touched if it's not somebody I'm, I'm familiar with. So that would be a problem for me anyway. Because I don't like to be touched if you're not somebody I feel like. So you wouldn't even get a regular massage. I like having massages before. So you get a lot of dances? Not from a man. I don't have oh, that's not what I asked you. From a female, yeah. So it's okay if a female's giving you this intimate massage. Yes, yeah, I'm not turned on by her. What if she make you squirt? You're never getting that far to even find out. That's a yoni massage, though. The yoni massage makes ladies squirt. How you go from a lactic to a yoni massage? It's a slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so we get, we, we're clear where uh, uh, Ramona stands. Uh, what about you? You guys. Would I go? You would get it either way, right? I would get it. I would go and get it into myself. I think it would single be. Single or not single? It's called healthcare, right? Self-care. 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 Self-care, healthcare. Sure. In a relationship or not relationship? Sure. How about it's you, Trey? If my insurance took care of me. If your insurance took care of it. What if it's like, a copay? Like, what if it's a copay? What if it's a copay? Yeah, if, it's like, a, if it's a low copay, you know. What's, what's low? What's uh, $10? Like $50. <laughs> what if it's a $100 copay? Nah. I'm going to pay for it myself. Nah, the majority started like three, four hundred. Yeah. I know I go by his light. <laughs> so someone said, uh, Luke, did you cry? No, I did not cry. I was not involved in the massage. <laughs> I was watching as a spectator to see the whole That's thing. That's a good question, because the way you described it, you said it was beautiful. I thought it was that beautiful. If you would have been there, you would have thought the same thing. I'm telling you. It was amazing. <laughs> Maxwell was playing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> was in the background. Uh, people of color. Yes, definitely. These guys. This one was uh, yeah, did the person go in about the Chinese people? Did no, you go no, no. I would, <laughs> so it said, I would have one. I'm not going there to ever have sex. Um, just me. Coming from me? Maybe <laughs> it's uh, for others, it's a thing, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. You can do ultimate mind fucking uh, of you if you give her a massage and just walk away without the sex. That's true. She might turn around like. I mean, they, well, they don't have to worry about walking away. But I'm they already walked away with the money. I'm like, come here, bring that to here. Come they here. already walked away with the money. That's the mind talk. Like, they got your money and they got to fill you up. Nah, bro. For, for the dudes doing this, it's a win. It's a come up. They got a chance to fill a strange woman up without putting in no work and got money. Bro, I'm telling you, she's about to get you with the, the Jade. She's going to get you with the Jade. Don't walk away. That's true. Damn, that's that's true. The dudes that's doing this is, listen, they winning. They winning. Sure. They are winning. All right. So um. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, real quick. Okay. Real quick. Mm -hmm. I know you're talking about the double D. The dick deficiency? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to um. Uh, a woman that is dick deficient is a walking time bomb, which is why she 
probably looking to get one of these massages in the first place because if she was getting the proper dick that she needed at home, you know what I'm saying? She had one or two choices. Either she could hire a lawyer at Strokes and Leave a Bitch or she could get herself a massage to help, you know what I'm saying, relieve her stress. Now, because Strokes and Leave a, for, Strokes and Leave a Bitch is a new legal law firm that helps women in their dick deficiency compensation cases, mm -hmm. she didn't realize that she had that as an option. But, you know, like, you, you guys can just go to a lawyer and get so, your, your case heard. So what does it mean to be dick deficient? Like, how much time, gotta, well, it means that you're not having sex, right? Yeah. So how much time... Nobody's you, dropping that dick off. Nobody's dropping that dick off. Nobody's giving you the glizzy, right. gyro. How long of a time before it becomes a deficiency? So, comment, ladies, if you're on... We're, we're asking, do you agree that there's such a thing as being dick deficient? And if you agree... What's the timeline that you feel that you are in that realm of being deficiency? Y'all yeah, better figure it out. Valentine's Day coming. Y'all yeah, better figure it out. Is there any pills? Yeah, but it's deficiency. Or is there, um, what's the side effects? No, if you're dick deficient, there's a vaccine for it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's full of vitamin D. Um, no pun intended. You like that? You like that? So done. All right. First off, to, before we get into the people's comments on that, now you sound like Keisha because you're making it sound like the woman that addicted to fishing are going out there to get an intimate massage to get fucked. That's not the case. The intimate massage. No, they just want to be touched because they're not being touched by a man. Uh, oh. Actually, you know. No, he's not. He's going to say they want to be fucked because once they get touched, they horny already. All it takes is one touch for them to drop the drawers. Touch. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all <laughs> <laughs> They want to get some of that variant. I'm not a variant. <laughs> but it is. Um, it looks like the consensus seems like it's three months that you three are. Three months? 90 days? Oh, they're doing a the reverse Steve Harvey. Got it. 90 days, no penis is deficiency? Reverse Steve Harvey. So, someone said, uh, please, I get more than enough, but there is always room for jello. I agree. Ooh. Agree. Jello sound like a limp dick. That don't even sound appetizing. <laughs> like, why really? would you want that? Really? Well, how did you get there? What? Oh, she wants she needs the pulling pop. That's what she needs. Not the jello. Can I ask you guys a question? A woman who who is DD deficient is she mm -hmm. easier to smash? Are they easier to smash than girls who who's getting it on regular? Um, I need her to take a self esteem exam first, and then I'll let you know. Oh, oh wow. wow. Are they easy to smash, the girls who are DDs? Are they easy to smash? Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, how do you answer this? Are, they, are, are, are they a easy? woman that are, are dick deficient, are they easier to smash? A girl who haven't had sex in six months, you met her. Is it easier to smash than someone that's getting it on the regular? I don't know, it depends on the female. And her self-esteem? No, it's not always about her self-esteem. It's just, there, there are some who just based on what they want. If they want it right then and there, they'll take it right then and there. If they don't, they won't. Yeah, that's true. It's not always about self-esteem. Now, does it help like if you pull out your glizzy in front of her and let her decide like, yo, if you want this, is right here. Like, let's go. So answer the question, sir. Is it a woman that would be efficient? <laughs> Easy to have sex with. That's the question. I don't right? know. I'm a man of God. I read the Old Testament and the New Testament, and I try to come to a spiritual consensus. With I know, right? Like, move away. Like, you know. The Lord strikes y'all want to be part of that. Nowhere close. <laughs> is, yeah. that, is that your final answer? That's what you Y'all all, my family, my brothers and sisters, if I get struck, y'all motherfuckers is coming with me. Yeah. Say it, Dre. I love my life. I love my life, man. <laughs> Is that your answer? That's what you're sticking with? Yeah. Sure. 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 Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, what are they saying up there? You um, We're going to get there. Mm -hmm. um, so, I do not, I have not. You kiss your teeth? It is, is, to answer your question, Ramona, is it easier to have sex with women who are addicted to fishing? Yes. I thought so. It is easier. What but say, but we don't always know initially if that's the case. For her, right? So some guys ask like, when's, when's the last time he had somebody? When's the last time he was intimate with someone? Some guys yeah, ask. Yeah, ask that. Some guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ask your part, or like someone that you're dating. When the last time you had sex, they, not, they had sex. Not, no, not just, no, not just that. Not just would out. you, would you, would you appreciate a dude asking you that? Mm. That's a slippery slope. Because then the next question would be, how many bodies you got? 
That's it's a slippery slope. So I'm I like, want it to be you, don't, you don't want that conversation to get down that road. But that conversation, I want it to be like something that's just like innate. Like we just talking and laughing about shit. Like shit, I ain't had to be. Like I don't want it to be like a, I feel like an interview question. I want it to be more like a conversation. Mm-hmm. But it just like it's been a whole out. three days since that has been. Right. Right. Yes, it's about self control. If you're good, you can go years without sex or being touched. I've been, I've been, I've been, I'm on a year. Yeah. You know, yeah. You want a year? My condolences. To you, uh, uh, so, do we want to answer this question as long as we've gone without sex? Three years. Three years? Wow. Fist bump. <laughs> Six months. Six months? Six months. Bless your face. That, that was a struggle. During COVID? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was tough out here, bro. Like, well, it, the, 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 those first months of COVID? <laughs> Listen, those first months of COVID, <laughs> those first months of COVID was rough. We still in COVID, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I mean, the, 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 nah, the, 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 the first month. Nah, you know, you know what I mean. Crazy, that shutdown was crazy. That, that, that shutdown that was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't get my eyebrows done. Like, everybody's still home. I ain't have a haircut. Right. Like, I was, listen, I was looking like Teen Wolf. I, I was just like, looking like my own eyebrows, my own toes. Looking like a black Teen Wolf. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. Nobody <laughs> should. Uh, I went a year and maybe it was like five months. A year and five close, months? Close to a year and a half. Okay. You were so different then. Yes, I was different then. <laughs> yeah, he blush it. Because <laughs> this guy, uh, I've known him a very long time. Like right? he's coming to the light now. Uh, let's see. Someone said, "No, smashability depends on the woman." What you mean? As far as if you're able to have sex with that woman, it depends on her. Like it's not the man's choice. Absolutely, it's it's the woman. Absolutely, mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, someone said, "Y'all need to move all these electronics before God shoot that lightning <laughs> <laughs> the camera at Uptown." Wow. Uh, Facts. Really. Absolutely, I feel I feel afraid of my life very often when I'm next to this guy. Oh man, the stuff that he might say. Oh. All right, so we're gonna get. To I'm gonna be a different person. Then y'all gonna be mad that I'm not saying no. stuff. I'm gonna be want. quiet. Say what you want. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm not gonna say nothing. No, I'm not that. No, that's what y'all want. Y'all still talk about me. It's 2022. Y'all still talk about me. At least you talk to your face. Don't you talk to your face. Don't talk to your face. Right. Right. Let me face. do something right though. Let me do something right. Taking. I'm gonna get a massage. Figure I'm gonna get you into myself. <laughs> I need some intimate chapter. That's what I need. Use for myself, kid. Yeah, done. Yeah, done. Drink some more of whatever's in that cup. There's nothing in here. Re- can I get a re-up? <laughs> <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing in here right now. I'm so mad that there's nothing in here. Can I, can I get a re-up? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go get your re-up. Before we go into our final thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh no, push, please. Oh, he brings that shit. He could have yeah. brought me the honey jack, but nah. he brings it. Nah, um, we're gonna have that. Uh, he gonna bring me this. All right, so we're gonna get towards our final thoughts. Moon, it's moonshine, y'all. It's moonshine. <laughs> Go smell it. Listen, you don't smell it before you put your mouth on it. Wow. Ooh. Th- Thank you. That's all. You just gotta know the right question to ask. You don't smell it before you put your mouth on it. Touch it and smell it before you even get that close to the woman. That's right. Thank you. What about you? Do, you? do you smell it before you put your mouth on it? I know the type of woman that I deal with, so I don't need to smell it because quality over quantity. Right. I don't need quantity right. over quantity. <laughs> need. So, so, so you believe? <laughs> you are too. You are too trusting. <laughs> You are way too trusted. That's why you describe these massages as beautiful and romanticized and shit. Because you too fucking trusted, nigga. Listen, I know who I'm dealing with. Quality. Okay? Mm-hmm. You don't know. I do know. So you never met Well, hold up. I know the right questions to ask. Go Give ahead, me a second. Go ahead, go ahead. You know them I so well. I feel already. I feel you oh. already. No, no, no. You want to go here, right? Yeah, Since yeah. you know them so well, are you with any of these women currently? Yes. I stand corrected. See? I have a question. Yes. And being a girl who you thought you knew that what her shit smelled like and it didn't smell so fresh when you went down there? Were you bamboozled? Who Good wins? <laughs> Let it straight. Run them up. Um, the 
the one time that I my like my disney I didn't. I, I wasn't in the. You I was. Fish. I was young, you so I didn't, fish. I, I didn't know what I was doing back then. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't aware of her character. So when it That's got question, when it got man. down to it, I was not. I was. I was upset. What does it smell like? She smells like everything. She smells like Hudson River or oh, City Island. Which one? Uh, City Island. City Island. Ooh. Like City Island. Oh, man. You said Hudson River City Island. <laughs> Damn. So I had to, I had to uh, step away. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't like those memes that be like, what you do, my guy? But my I can't see it through. I can't see it through. I can't see it through. Listen, sometimes you got to see shit through. Nah, not with that saying. I got to go. You knew what you was coming here for. No, you just smack my ass and say get in the shower. Nah, bro. Tell her that you got Dr. Bronner's, the peppermint one. The peppermint one, you can feel when it's cleaning you. Because you get that peppermint, you get that menthol tingle. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, I like the peppermint. Yeah. The board mission. The board mission? She know how to do mission. that tingling before she got to the house. That tingling, tingling, baby. Word. Yeah, like, yeah, you got you. Facts. Y'all niggas is bougie. It's funkadelic. Why we gotta be all that? Y'all niggas is bougie, man. But you know what he was coming up Do y'all agree if y'all smell something wrong, are you sending that person to the bathroom shower to go... Are you well, I'm saying I think smelly dudes should get a pass before smelly chicks. That means her pH balance is off, right? That's what it means. Yeah. pH balance talk. But yeah, guys smell too because y'all agree. Guys smell too because y'all balls be smelling funky. But listen, a, funny. a little seasoned nuts, you can, you know, it's not, it's <laughs> you can, you, 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 you can get rid of that. You no. can get, you can. I have high blood pressure. I got high blood pressure. I have no soul. No, I have no soul. A little bit of paprika. That's gross. That's gross. Oh. And it's even, it's even worse because you guys are external. We're internal. So for your yeah, external yeah. parts to be smelling, it's a problem. That means you just finish fucking. So wait, wait, wait. Your shit should be smelling like chitlins. I don't know what shitlins smell like, but he's so on top of it. So no chocolate salty balls. Chocolate? No, yeah, salty, chocolate. no salty balls. You do beige salty balls? <laughs> I don't do salty balls. This, I know some woman that actually likes the balls being a little salty. Yeah, she, she wanted a nigga straight out, the, out of the gym, right? Like, she wanted a nigga straight, straight out, out the gym? Not, not straight out the gym, but like... I just did two full courts. Like, oh, so this like, is your quality, right? This is your quality, one of the salty balls. She said, she said, she said like she over here before judgment. Hold but on. this is your quality woman. Wait, 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 two full courts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do not associate one with the other. Are you guys telling me that you've not had a woman Fuck your balls, it might have been a little salty. <laughs> I am a man of God. Oh my God. But that means she like it though. She just doing it because she's... She, she got to commit. Drink? She got to commit. What happened? She's a team you player. You heard the question. No, no, I'm not She's a team player. Son, huh? have you not had a woman that might have sucked on your balls when it was a little bit salty? Woman, have y'all? Little sucks on little season nuts. Yes, no season. Uh, your little season nuts. Little season nuts. Season. Little season nuts. I really doubt it. So you always, so you stop and be like, no. <laughs> no, you try to say you don't have sauce. I got obey on these nuts. You always say no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Whenever I have done those things, you know, with my bad. You don't give it an obey? No, 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 no. You got to stop them. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good time. Go and bathroom first. Get, get a baby wipe. Listen, she ain't gonna walk around talking about Baby wipe? Yes, if you can't get water, get something. She ain't gonna walk around talking about she yeasty because of me. Thank you, Dre. I listen, appreciate if you. you don't get a baby wipe, I you. listen, every, you, can get, you, you can get yourself a Clorox wipe. No. Say, Clorox, bro, you trying no. to burn you and her. No, you gonna kill her. That's extra it's clean, nigga. No. Yo, son, son, what's wrong with you? you this is what it is. is. You know, I'm gonna light a fire to your ass. You and your fucking car dick is gonna be on fire. Over there. And don't get no cleaning and bleach. People, black people use bleach for everything, but now bleach is no good for the season nuts. What's wrong with y'all? So you, I right, know someone said, one someone said, nah, that's gotta be a turn off. But definitely sent to the shower though. So they gonna send. I'm not sending you to the shower. Yeah, that was your one. Nah, you gotta go, boy. Yeah, go. <laughs> right. You know what you're here for? Definitely different for women. Um, send this man on his way. So, so thank like, you. Nope, yeah, that's it. Go. Um, this is caramel. With she crying. If he dropped that D off good before, she would just be like, "Hey, just gonna shower, please. Mm -hmm. Please don't leave. Just gonna shower." No. She crying. She crying. No, I'm not crying. Someone said, "Can't be the first time." Uh, I guess it could be the first time, but not the second time. Like you might get one time. Okay. And then it could happen again. Nah, like it's a wrap. Oh, tell me, my babe. I was playing ball earlier, so 
I mean, fresh enough. I need to freshen up. Tell me something. Like, give me a warning, but don't just drop your dick like it's just fresh. So, and I'll be like, mm. I just did 27 miles at Planet Fitness. Mm-hmm. Tell me That's something. Damn. Tell me. Give me a reason. But if he tells you that you're not gonna get funny, you know you're not. No, gonna I'd be more think. sympathetic to that. So I understand it. But if you walk around like this is your baseline, you sure? Or you gonna be sure. like, yo, let me, no. let me make sure because you know. No, if you tell me you went to the gym or you tell me you was running or whatever, I would say okay. okay. But if this is so your this, this was a scenario for me that happened. So I had worked, right? I did work. I came home. My journal was home. And she was like, how was your day? I was good. She started taking my pants out. I was like, oh, that's all we're doing? She was like, yeah. And then right there, you were talking about the old started day. going in. And I was like, oh, so okay. So you knew you had sweaty balls? I worked. Of she, course I had sweaty balls. She knew I worked. She, she, you didn't tell her what's up. It's but old she, day on these nuts. She greeted me with the wonders of head. Who says no to that? I, I've said no because if it's old day, like, no. She knew I was at work. It wasn't like I just came. What'd she say? She She started sucking on me. He was like, oh, dang. What'd she say? (laughs) (laughs) She kept on doing it? (laughs) Oh. Please don't. Don't. Please don't. Please don't. Don't. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're a hater. You're a hater. You're a hater. That was good delivery I gave for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I dropped that D off. No. Oh, man. I like the um, visual though. Uh, someone said, Sage <laughs> Uptown Brown, please. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I'm going to wash it. So they will wash their man's thing. Like, I'm going to wash it. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's, that's sweet. Claw Rocks White? Babe, hold, I know they had a long day. Yo, bro, what's the chew and bleach? Yeah. Like, time. I don't know. Someone said it too. Uptown think he Trump with the bleach. Hold <laughs> <laughs> oh, on. No, they just compared me to Trump. I'm offended now. Like, <laughs> that's it. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm not going to mention bleach no more. There you go. That offended me. Like, <laughs> yeah. said, that, was, that was it. Nah. That was it. That was it. Yeah. Someone said, everyone y'all, burning. Y'all play too much. Y'all play too All much. Right, so that's, 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 that, that, that Trump shit. I don't like that, man. Let's get to Across the line with that one. Yeah, yeah. Play too much. 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 Okay, all right, let's get back to the topic, y'all. All right, for final thoughts on it. Final thoughts on intimate massage. So, uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys have on this? I need a minute. You need a minute? Okay, I, I feel like this. It's not for everyone. You know, like... Wait, hold on. Before, before you get up the final thoughts. Mm-hmm. If y'all want, go ahead in the comments. Give us your thoughts. We'll read them out as far as what you think on final thoughts in terms of intimate massages and when you stand. Whatever it might be. We're not going to give you any um, particular context. You've heard what we've said so far. We would love to hear your thoughts on it as well. So, with that being said. First lady. Okay. Um, so, my thoughts are basically... It's not for everyone, you know, stay in your zone. This is not what you do. Don't start doing it because it's a trend. You know, know your limits. And if you're single, I say, why not? You know, go for it. Huff yourself, feel good. I personally wouldn't do it because I feel like that's having like a one night stand, in my opinion. That's just one, I'm just one person. But I feel like we're going to just have sex and never see each other anymore. To me, it's like a one night stand. I'm sorry. I know, I know, Jake. <laughs> Tell you why sex is more than Yo, hold on, hold on. Yo, I'm gonna tell you why sex is more than that. Yo, I'm gonna tell you why sex is on the menu for me, right? Because if she paid for it the same way, like when a dude pay for a date and he paid for sex, she's gonna pay for surf and turf and he expect ass at the end of the night, she's definitely gonna pay for that. Yo, that's what I'm saying. That's not 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 you no, want more? You this is my opinion, though. Okay, I'm sorry. You're you right. want you're more right. than what a regular massage has to offer you. You want more. So if you're gonna go for more, go for more. So if you're going for more, you're gonna be acting up fucking. And I was, I was saying, I said I probably wouldn't have sex with the guy, but I probably would let him go down with me a little bit. But I probably wouldn't have sex. With him. If you pay for it, you might as well get the whole I'm, thing. No, I, I don't want to have sex with you. you but know, get the whole shebang, man. Anyway, and if, sorry, you're, let's not if you're in a relationship, that. please have consent from both parties to make sure this is okay. Because you don't want this to be the reason why you guys argue or break up. Please talk to your mate about this. This is not something that you should not talk about. This is a conversation, definitely. 
And um, if one party's not okay with it, don't do it. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it in my opinion. Like, it's just a massage. So that's my opinion. Um, if you're single, go for it. If that's what you're into, hey, rock out. But if you're in a relationship, please communicate with your spouse or your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Make sure you're both on the same page. And do it together. I feel like you get to see what's going on on both ends. Even though he <laughs> says that you're not going to pay attention, you're going to pay attention. But get it done together so you don't have the mystery of what happened or what if, what happened. So get it done together and have consent. That's my, that's my final thought on it. I want to go last. Okay, I want to go last. All right. So, <laughs> um, I do, I do agree with first lady. Um, I think it's a new trend that a lot of people are trying just because it's it's, it's the new thing to do. Um, if you are in a relationship, um, not just have a conversation with your partner about it, but you should know your partner. Okay. Um, because it's a possibility that your partner could, could say yes. Go ahead and do it, and then that starts an issue if you actually go do it. So please know your partner before you go out there and do it. Um, but again, if it's something that you want to do, if it's something you want to try, by all means, you know, like shock G's with it or, you know, like do what you like. Um, you're, you're an adult. You know, whatever you pay for, you go do what you do. It is what it is. Um, yeah, whatever you, whatever you know that you can handle, do what you know that you can handle. If you're not strong enough to handle it, then then don't do it. Like that's that's just where I'm at with it. Absolutely. Okay. Look. Lucas. <laughs> what 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 what's that? What's that mean, bro? Come on. Oliver is very plain and safe today, so that's good money. That's your final door, so that's good. That's all I'm saying. What you mean I'm plain and safe? Say, like, say, say, say. If you're strong enough to handle it, <clears throat> my final. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um. Life is totally about experiences, mm -hmm. right? And at some point, you you want to have some that might be outside of your box. No pun intended. No pun intended. And but it, but in order to have those type of experiences, you have to be open to it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, whether you're with someone or not with someone, it's to be a conversation that happens between yourself and them, right? If, if there is, mm -hmm. but. I would behoove you and anyone to not shelter uh, your thoughts or process on the things that can happen at, and it doesn't mean that you have to have it all the time, right? These, these intimate massages, like every once a month or twice a year, whatever the case might be. All I'm saying is allow yourself to, to be open to new experiences that could just feel great, right? And, and enjoy it because that would allow you to broaden your mind and your own experiences in life and possibly maybe make you a better person. What does behold mean? <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm, clear, I'm asking you politely. It would be to your best interest mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To, to, to try. Mm -hmm. um, I know I just, there's somebody out there that don't know. Google it. That's true. That's true. Right. But before you, do you want to say your final thoughts? Yeah, I want to say my final, final thoughts. Okay. My final okay. thoughts. Um, so first right here, we got this book, um, you know, it's about tantric sex, um, which is different from intimate massages. True. Um, secondly, um, for all the ladies who are interested in getting intimate massages, all you got to do is send an email to the Skywalker touch at gmail.com and Luke, you can schedule an appointment with Luke and Luke will help you get your intimate massage needs on. Um, there is a height and weight requirement, so please, please send him a selfie, um, and he will, you know what I'm saying, reply back to you to let you know you meet the requirements to receive one of his intimate massages. Um, you can use the discount code uh, Hollywood25, and that will help you get, you know what I'm saying, 25% off on your intimate massage. Now, um, also, we also have the Hollywood Touch at gmail.com. If you would like a intimate massage from Hollywood Dre, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna, ladies, he's gonna have a wife beater, some gray sweatpants shorts, and his glasses on. He's keeping the glasses on <laughs> just for you ladies so you can get your intimate massages on. You know what I'm saying? And for you fellas out there, if you want an intimate massage, you can also get the first lady touch at gmail.com. And that could also, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, <laughs> okay, maybe not. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like intimate massages, you know, um, it is a personal choice. Um, like Dre said, do what you like. Um, don't do something that's going to get you in trouble. It's not going to be worth it. But at the end of the day, if you believe that, you know, it might be worth it. Um, it, it might be, you know what I'm saying? But I said, get some consent. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if listen, if my lady gonna do it, then she should just know that I'm gonna do it. Otherwise, we ain't gonna do it. We don't even gotta be in the same room together. But just know if you run up and do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna run up and do it, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be what it is, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we wanna be, you know, fair and square around here, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, because uh, intimate shafting is important. And, I think that, you know what I'm saying, you know, like, there is not enough men out here getting their intimate shaft needs fulfilled, you know what I'm saying, I mean, unless you live in the city of Atlanta where the men are intimate shafting each other. That's not true. Um, no, son, it's good. <clears throat> um, but, you know, um, you know, intimate, I just, Alright, alright, so They just um, in my final thoughts I was, yeah. okay. Oh, you weren't done? Because I was hoping you were done uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Are you done? Alright Are you, are, are you, Sydney? Sydney, <laughs> are you done? So, you done? someone, I'm going to read some of the comments The royal band is all waiting for you So, somebody asked, what's the name of the book um, I'm going to come up for a close-up And we'll, we'll put a post on it as well um, My son works This <laughs> <laughs> This um, book they don't know, all right? This is uh, somebody's book here. Um, somebody's book here? <laughs> Somebody, whose book is it, Luke? Whose book? It's someone's book here. I don't know if you guys can see. It's your book, Luke. Uh, the Ultimate Guide to Tantric Sex, uh, 19 Lessons to Achieving Ecstasy. They do not uh, know that... Um, Skywalker the Touch. The person here that brought who's it. The so, who's the writer? Uh, the writer the is... Uh, the author. The author. Skywalker. Um, Ferreira. Guillermo Ferreira. Ferreira. Well, we'll post it so you guys can see it, uh, so you can uh, see clearly who the name is. Uh, we don't get anything from that. That was just a, a harmless plug, so um, let them know that you saw it from my stuff. Uh, let's see what else. What else do we have here? Um, someone said, Preach Ramona. Uh, Great, girl, preach. Mm-hmm. Someone said, I think you should do it with someone you are about to have sex with. It's very intimate. <laughs> The thing with that is that intimate massages, there is a professionalism that happens that most men don't know how to actually massage. So these massages, these masseuses are trained. They're actually trained. So the feelings that you will have in that session will be nothing compared to what you'll have with your- Right, so you're, you're literally getting like a deep tissue massage or a sweetest massage or something like that. It's totally, they can't compare. Intimate massages, yeah. Can't compare. Um, my friend know what she's talking about. I guess they're talking about you, Miss Ramona. Oh, they could have been talking about me. Who's that? What's the name? Uh, Miss P underscore one eighty. Natasha. knows what Tasha. she's talking about. Hey, Tasha. She's talking about you. No. She. All right. Someone else said, "Fellas, don't fall for the trap of your lady to say that it's okay for you to go. It's a trap." <laughs> See. So it's a trap, guys. Uh, how much are y'all charging? Who's y'all? <laughs> <laughs> These two colors. Oh, that's it. Yes. Okay. And I believe, didn't you say it was the first one to touch too? No, nope. yes. he didn't say that. First lady no, touch. No, he said that. Uh, it's cool. So what's that great barking? And what's the hourly rate? Um, Gmail. What's the uptown rate? Gmail. What's the uptown rate? No time to give her no goddamn email. <laughs> <laughs> what one? They, they want, want, they want an uptown. They, they want, want an uptown. uptown. My son yes. works. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> it's a massages. Uh, I hope you guys go and try it out. Honestly, I think you'll really we be right. They're going to email you so they can schedule their appointments. Skywalker at G- Gmail. The Skywalker Touch. The Skywalker Touch at gmail.com. The Harlem Touch at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. No, it's the Hollywood Touch. Hollywood Touch at gmail.com. That's why he has a red kiss on his hat. He's ready for you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining the show. We appreciate it. Yay. Continue to watch us. Season two is out. We got uh, like five episodes out already, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, what's you guys' favorite episode Six. so far? 
Put you on a blast. Blast right now. Data etiquette. I mean, dinner etiquette. Dinner etiquette. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Definitely check out the dinner etiquette. It's really interesting. I, I think I like social media and dating. Social media and dating. Okay, okay. Because we use Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mine's is uh one of my favorite is uh definitely with the guys. I think that one was really that fun. That was good too. Yeah, that one was fun. Was the entree over? Side, 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 side dish. Side dish. Side dish. Side entree versus side dish. Side dish versus side. That was my my favorite because um, yeah. yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was really fun. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. The GDE episode, the Good oh, Dick Equation. Yeah, for you. Nothing but ladies. We will not be here. If you haven't seen the first season. There is an episode that talks about the GPE, the good pussy equation. Punani, whatever. Pum pum. And so this season we have the good dick equation. Well, we'll have a panel. The good yoni equation. Oh mm. uh, yeah. Yeah. We have a panel of ladies that will give us what they feel is a busy, a good equation that will make that happen. So if you guys have some thoughts or opinions on what you feel make a good dick equation, please. Uh, shoot us an email or a comment on what you feel so that when these ladies get together, they'll have some more information to include from what you guys said today. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Anything else you guys want to add? Yeah. All right, then. Well, as always, thank you for joining. We love you. Continue to watch, and as always, have a great day. And the better better tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. More fire. <laughs> <laughs> Skywalker. <laughs>